Okay, so I'm just going to go with how to link the HTML file with the CSS and the JavaScript. So first up, let's create our files. So I just call that home.html. Let's create the CSS file. So we'll also just call that styles.css. And also the JavaScript file, so home.js. If we open up the HTML file, we want to specify or tell the browser what document it's reading. So doc type is HTML. Next up, we want our HTML tags. And within the first tag, we want to tell the browser what language the text will be. The text will be English, so EN, and we'll close that tag. We can open the HTML file within the browser. As you can see, file home.html. Within the um, HTML tags, you want to put a header tag or the head. And after the header, we'll have the body for the content. Within the header tag, you usually have quite a lot of uh, metadata probably pronounced that incorrectly, and um, also uh, linking files and whatever you're using within the HTML file. We won't go into that, but we will just put the title tag in here, and I'll call the title, well, the content within the title will be on my dog. If we refresh the browser, we can see the tab title has changed. Let's just put some content within the body, a h1 tag, and we'll call that, oh, that's not nice, content, easy, oh my dog. If we refresh the browser, the content shows. Perfect. Next up, we'll link the CSS file. We'll do that between the head, well, within the header, and we want to link. What are we linking? Well, we're linking a style sheet. And where is this style sheet? Well, it's within the same folder. All of these are within the same folder. So they all pop up here. And it's the styles.css we want. Close that tag, and the style sheet is linked. Next up, we'll just link the JavaScript file. And we'll do that at the bottom of the body because then the browser will read the content of the HTML file. And lastly, it will read the JavaScript file and then it will link all the functions to what, what whatever you've linked it to within the site. It can't do it the other way around. If you put the JavaScript file at the top of the HTML document, it will read the JavaScript, but it won't know where to put it. So it will just lose the data. So just to prevent errors, place the link at the bottom of your body. And we do that within the first tag of script. So the type is a text file which contains JavaScript. And the source is within the same folder, home.js, close the tag. So it's all linked. Everything is all working together. Next up, I'm just going to test it out just to prove that it all works. So on my dog is within the h1 tag. So if we go over to our CSS file, h1, We'll change the color, blue violet. Refresh, and the color's changed. Sorted. Next up, we want to test the JavaScript. So I'm going to create a button, and the button text, click me. Let's refresh the browser, and the button appears. Let's go to our JavaScript file and we want to write a function so let oh, 
at x equals zero. And let's create our function. So our function will be called counter. And the content of this counter function, we'll just add one onto x. So x equals one plus x, or to simplify it down, x plus plus, and we'll console log it. Console log, I can type, x. So just to get your console up within Chrome, I right click, inspect the page, and the arrow is console. Or if you're on full screen, console option should just pop up there. Click on that. Now, yeah, oh, counter. Now, we have got our JavaScript function here, but if we start clicking, nothing's going to happen. Yes, we've linked the JavaScript to the HTML, but we haven't linked that function to anything. So we want to link the function to the button. So what are we doing? Well, we're clicking. So on click, what, what do we want on click? Well, we want the function counter. So counter. And now refresh. Click on the button. As you can see, the function is working. So that's it. That's proved that the JavaScript is linked and it's working. So yeah, that's it.